So finally, to finish, uh, we're talking about which is the best model. Mm -hmm. Which is the best model for doing hydrology? Is my model? There is a let's say a mechanization of a modeling. Every every hydrology that passes through is a it thinks to be able to build models. And potentially, I believe that is so. So ev everyone is able to build this model. But you have to apply and do effort. At some time, the ability is just too simplistic to apply. The other thing I am uh, mentioning here is that uh, I think that uh, this is going to disappear very soon. But uh, uh, but was uh, really dangerous so far. <coughs> We had several papers where people were climbing to obtain results, but uh, giving practically no proof for the result. And this proof, when we use models, means uh, being able to use their model to obtain their results. So uh, this author here says uh, <coughs> going to talk about statistics, but uh, is the same also for for hydrology and for other thing uh, for other thing. Uh, science and modeling is going to be true if it is reproducible. At least you have to give uh, the right description of your model in the way that your model can be described. And when you do a claim, you should you should at least prove that you have what you did. Meaning that uh, if we are not building model the right way, we are not even a being able to keep trace of, what, of our own research. Because in doing the things, we are doing a lot of confusion, changing the parameters, changing part of the model, so we don't even know exactly with which the version of our software we did that paper that we published. So, and that's uh, all this type of thing that this author called Battle Web. If I don't see the code, he says, there is no science. I don't, you get not the paper published for me. So, types of model. <coughs> we have exactly this Kerouf model. The Kerouf model is a model that, uh, uh, you know, exists on papers. But the, nobody had the, had the chance to see paper, a model, a model living in one computer, the computer of the PhD student producing it, maybe, and simulation da, uh, the simulation da, does once, like the famous pro proof of Fermat, actually, it was uh, supposed to be written in the, in the end of and, and, and part of a book that was pretty stimulating for centuries, actually, because he said, I proved that this is, uh, this is true only <coughs> in this case. But, yeah, it is not a good model. Well, it, it, it happens very, um, but very often. Often. Yes. But also with people uh, close to you. Yes. That's uh, that I'm not saying that, 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 that I'm not saying that I didn't do Kerub model. I learned from the <laughs> I learned from this story. Okay, the other model is the zombie model. Zombie model. Uh, let's say I say a good claim that 80 percent of hydrology of operational hydrology is done by zombie model. Zombie model means a, a, a nice model. With a good, very beautiful interface, you go, you sit on your on your sofa, you have your model prepared somewhere in you in some university. You have a nice uh, a nice interface, but the contents, the physical contents of the models are really poor or really out of date. Not necessarily wrong, but are for sure out of date. And uh, this is a problem not of the modeler. Or not of the producer of that model is a actually a structural problem of how models are produced in informatics. Because if you produce a model that is difficult to evolve, you are not evolving it. And if you are diffusing your model, uh, your model that way, 
and you take you have to take care of the interfaces and you give people a model that is 10 years behind what it can do. This model usually after calibration give the right answer but with for wrong reasons. Uh, there is the flying machine model and the flying machine. Uh, a famous uh, Hanna and Barbera model. <coughs> and uh, what is this? Is an assembly. Oh, I went to study and uh, I get this model. I know that this process is made like this. This other process is made like that. This other process is made like that. Okay, you can run some <coughs> Python code nowadays or Fortran code put all together. I obtain the results that fly, the it means it runs, it runs, it runs, not it runs. <laughs> but there is no balance with, between the way. Model, in my view, can be simple. If you, the, you are, it depends on the answer you, are, you can have, and the, but it must be well balanced between the things <coughs> that you are producing. And you have to be conscious of what you are doing. This kind of model sometimes uh, returns result, but feel me, uh, make me feel a lot uh, uncomfortable. It's not a good model. There is a, a nice paper, which was written in 1986, which is uh, Dilettantism in Hydrology, Transition and Destiny. It's still very a readable paper and uh, a, a must read for every, everyone working in model. So, which is the best model? The best model, there is no one best <coughs> model, in fact, and uh, must, must be, must have a solid implementation, uh, must be freely available, at least, at least for science, otherwise you cannot uh, you cannot reproduce it, or at least it, it's physics uh, must be detailed up to the point that the model is reproducible. <coughs> but this uh, kind of reproducibility is not possible if you're not going to the detail of numerics in this case. So close code actually is, the good, is not a good thing for science, always. Uh, you have to uh, document it. A nice code, which is only the code. Uh, uh, there is a nice book, which is uh, code, code, I don't remember the title, but well, it, it tells you that uh, the real be best documentation of a code is the code itself. Uh, you have to uh, write the code in a clear way. That you must read the code like you read a book. And uh, so it should be well documented. Also, in this sense, it is well written. But in any case, there must be a clear documentation. And uh, it must implement a reasonable uh, contemporary hydrology. Meaning, if you use for evapotranspiration, <coughs> white equations for, for the, the, the describing evapotranspiration, you are not doing contemporary hydrology. If you use uh, some sort of kinematics models for doing surface hydrology, as many practitioners still do nowadays. I don't say that it is wrong, but if, you, if they use the wrong, if they can use the wrong parameterization. If in the right parameterization, the right parameterization, the right consciousness of what it can do or not can do, is part of being contemporary. The, the models have to be simple, but not too simple. If a problem is complex, if you have to give complex answers, we cannot believe that we can give a complex answer with simple, too simple models. Or just arguing. But in the, in the first slide, when you talk about the water bar, uh, water bar, such a bar, the water bar, the water bar, the water bar, the water bar, you, you talk about the different approaches, 
with the different level of simplification. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, okay. And uh, a lot of models uh, okay, uh, can uh, use uh, this different level of simplification. So you can have a simple models with uh, with uh, equation. Okay. Uh, you can mix different part of Okay, but the, they are not, to, uh, it, it is not wrong. The problem is, is complex, but uh, you can, uh, there are, there are approaches with the simplified equation. Then uh, you are the modeler, then you can discuss, uh, or you have a, a, a critic. Uh, I can answer to you <coughs> with a simple example. You have, a, a, you use a Nash model for doing, uh, um, for doing rainfall or not. May, may, maybe someone will use that and okay. this Nash model, but uh, let's say very simple reservoir model. Then is useful a geological relations to, to, to uh, run that model? Is important, is present geology in that model? Is not present. No, is, uh, they are two parameters. So, so if you want a no. model that takes into account geology, you cannot use that model because there is nothing in that model that tells you that is uh, you can correlate with the geology. That is uh, the example I am, I am doing. But, but also it's a question. Not true. Uh, it depends on parameter definition. Yes, but for, uh, in vicious equations there are at least statistical uh, trials to do, uh, which <coughs> are called pedo transfer function, <coughs> to relate the characteristic of the soil to the uh, hydraulic characteristics. They are statistics, they are not always true, but okay. There yeah, is, there but but uh, you are saying if the cosines of the model is yeah. of the user, then of the and 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 of the, yes. The model must be extensible, okay? Changing the model must be inserted in DDS, in Decision Support System <coughs> DSS, not DDS. Uh, for an hydrologist, since you are teaching the students, it's also possible that you also need to represent in space, you be, need to be proficient in representing space more than I am. Because space tells a lot. And a good model is a model that is going to be developed continuously. Otherwise, that is a dead model. You are not, uh, uh, since there is not the perfect model, uh, once there are problems, uh, if you have a particular problem, uh, that problem requires some other adjustment and you have to need, so you have not yourself, but someone that evolved the model. So a good model is a model by the community of the developer. There is also this paper, which is getting the right, the, the right answer for the right reasons. Also for Jim Kirch, which I mentioned before with the guy, because Jim is a very nice, very, I don't know who made him, maybe Marco. He's a very, he has strong opinions, but sometimes it's not even, even he is not, we say, we say in Italiano, predica bene, razzo la mare. We say, means, means uh, sometimes I myself do these things, but not always behave like I, <laughs> like we need. So I think this is a game now. <laughs>